Michael, we're here for Mark Davis's testimonial evening. What a fantastic venue this is. Yeah, it is, and uh, it's fantastic. They've supported him so well. He's a uh, massively important servant to Sussex uh, as a player and as a coach, and uh, it's great that he can have um, events like this in London. And uh, when did you first uh, come across Mark? I would imagine you, just when you were coming through the ranks or a little bit later? Yeah, it was my second year he joined the club uh, in 2001. Um, I played a full season with him then, and uh, he ran an academy in Port Elizabeth, which I went to. Um, so I learned a lot from him, and uh, he's been very helpful to my career and uh, a lot of people at Sussex. And uh, as a fellow spinner, I imagine he must have had a, a big influence on your game as you were sort of progressing through the ranks and eventually onwards and upwards to England, I suppose. Yeah, well, I worked with him um, quite a bit on my spin um, and still do now because he's still got lots of knowledge and uh, he still loves to bowl in the nets as well and uh, he's, still, he's, still, he's still got it. So, no, he's a really good guy, good uh, team man, um, but a very good cricketer as well and played a, a big part in Sussex's success in the, in the 2000s. Absolutely, and Sussex having a good start to this season, particularly in the 2020s. How's that, uh, how's that going? What's the mood in the camp at the moment? Yeah, the boys are flying at the moment. Everyone's really positive and there's a good vibe. 2020 is a good time of year for, for every professional cricketer because it's a good atmosphere, um, big crowds, and uh, we're enjoying it at the moment. We've got some good wins, especially against two wins against Essex. You seem like a very strong team. And as you say, you've had some wins already, but uh, quite, a, quite a long sort of start to the season. Are you confident you can keep that momentum going? Yeah, pretty aware that we did very well at the start last year and then fell away. Um, so yeah, we've got to address that that kind of issue. But I think at the end of the day, the cliche is to take every game as it comes, and you're just trying to win every game. And um, and our next game is tomorrow night, and that's the most important one. Stuff. I just want to talk about England. How how are they at the moment? Entertaining stuff. We've been, I expect, sort of keeping an eye on things in the dressing room. But where are they at the moment? Do you think? England are doing really well. They've got to come back from the Ashes and uh, a fantastic win down at Cardiff where no one kind of expected it and it is always difficult to get a result at Lord, especially a weather round but they uh, to be 30 for three and then turn that game round and, and have Shrink at the end kind of holding on for a draw even though it's only for a short period of time just shows the quality of players that are in the dressing room and, every, and everyone is contributing even players that are coming in you know Jimmy Anson injured uh, Steve Finn comes in and gets four wickets. Absolutely and just finally the move on to the Rose Bowl now it's a brand new test venue imagine you'd have played Quite a bit of first-class cricket there. What, so, what can they expect from the wicket? Do you think uh, it's difficult? So I've played a couple of one day internationals there, and, and the wicket is very different to what you play counter pitch on. Um, it's a very good pitch for the, for the internationals. I'm sure it'd be a very good pitch. Possibly might spin, so there might be an option of getting two spinners in the squad. Monte Panasar's bowling very well for us, so I mean, he may get an opportunity. But yeah, um, I think it'd be a good, it'd be a, it'd be a good, good, great venue. Great venue. I mean. Uh, chairman there, Roger Bransgrove, spent a lot of money and, and put a lot of effort into to get Test cricket there. It's fantastic for him that he's had the opportunity to, you know, for England to have a Test match there. So hoping for a good game in England to win, win the series 2-0. Absolutely, and then they can move on to the One Days and uh, in India. Stuff. Thanks so much, Michael.